A lot of us are familiar with this sound. It's the one a frog makes, especially a male frog during the breeding season, to call upon someone special to make cute little frog babies with. Just like humans need a mom and dad to make a baby, frog babies begin with the male and the female frog meeting up. And this is called as mating. And when they mate, the female lays eggs. But not just anywhere. She's super picky. She chooses shallow, still water, like pond, swamp or a marshy puddle surrounded by plants. Why? Because the right spot gives her eggs the best chance to grow into healthy frog babies. On a different note, do you notice how adult frogs, specifically the female ones, lay eggs in or near water? So the life of frogs actually begins in water. And slowly as they grow, they move on to land and start living there. So that is what makes them amphibians. The word amphibian literally means dual life. And frogs living in both water and land at different times of their life is what makes them true amphibians. Anyway, getting back to our point. The female lays a bunch of eggs, about a hundred, that look like tiny jelly bubbles. This jelly helps protect them. A group of frog eggs is called a spawn. Now, after the eggs are laid, the male frog does his job. He fertilizes them. And soon, the egg develops into embryos. Okay, it develops into embryos. And this takes about three to four days. After about a week, after about a week, tadpoles form from the embryos. They are the tiniest, wiggliest baby frogs you will ever see, right? They look more like fish than frogs. Freshly hatched tadpoles eat what remains of their embryos. It nourishes them for their rapid growth. Now, if you look closely at a tadpole, you would see these structures. Though they look like arms from a distance, they aren't. They are external gills the respiratory organ of tadpoles, which they need to take in oxygen from the water. As the tadpole grows, their gills are covered by a flap of skin, but they don't entirely disappear until the tadpole becomes a fully grown adult. Now, tadpoles are plant eaters at first. They munch on algae and plant bits. Their intestines, therefore, are long, great for digesting plants. Later, when they become frogs, their intestines will shorten as they switch to a diet of bugs and insects. Now, since tadpoles stay in water and cannot go on land until they're fully grown, they have these long tails which are used for swimming. After about 8 to 10 weeks, the tadpoles start growing their back legs. These tiny legs are extremely fragile and are not ready to be used yet. A lot of other changes are taking place too. The tadpole's body gets longer and its head becomes more distinct. Next, the front legs of the frog wiggle out from under the skin. Imagine your arms poking through your shirt sleeves, but way slower. And this happens around week 12. Now, it's starting to look like a frog, but with a tail. We call this cute little stage a froglet. In the last stage, around week 14, the froglet becomes a fully grown frog. And that is accompanied by a couple of changes. The tail disappears, it's absorbed right into the body. The lungs take over, the gills stop working. The mouth turns from fishy to froggy, wide with a sticky tongue for catching bugs. The intestines shrink to suit its meaty diet. And finally, the frog is ready to hop out of water and begin its life on land.